Hello, I'm Richard. Today we are talking about the MOT, a test that is here to keep you and all other road users safe. Now research shows that around 1.5 million cars fail the MOT every year. So it's worth preparing your car by carrying out these simple tasks. But it's not just owners of older cars that can benefit from the reassurance given by carrying out these quick and easy checks. So whichever car you own, these checks can save you time, money, and keep you safe on the road. Firstly, check all of your car lights work properly. Side lights, headlights, rear lights, hazard lights, and indicators. Finally, check your brake lights. Make sure your number plate is undamaged, clean and legible. Even a quick wipe with a cloth can make a difference. Check your tyres for condition and tread depth. Now the legal minimum tyre tread depth is 1.6 millimetres. However, I'd recommend you change them at 3 millimetres. Now an easy way to check this is get a 10 pence piece and put it in the tread depth. If you can still see the writing around the edge on the coin, you need new tyres. Check the condition of the windscreen. You're looking for cracks and chips. Now any cracks or chips over 10 millimetres within the swept area of the wipers is an MOT fail. Check your wiper blade rubbers. Run your finger along. Check for splits or damage. If they're damaged, they need replacing. Top up the screen wash before the test. An empty container can cause a fail. Engine oil, not only important for your engine, but for the test as well. If your engine oil is low, you can be turned away from the test. And this goes for fuel as well. Check the lights on the dashboard. Make sure no warning lights remain lit. Seat belts can save your life in a crash, but only if they work properly. Inspect the full length for damage. Tug sharply to check they react as they're supposed to, if you have to brake severely. Finally, check your horn. So there we have it, a few simple checks that you can do to help keep you safe on the road. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.